Eden, I think, had found out that I got a Qualys wildcard, so she sent me a message on Twitter saying, look, I've got a wildcard with doubles, do you want to try and sign in for the mixed? Don't really have much hope, but might as well give it a shot. We ended up getting a shot, didn't think it was going to happen, and uh, so we went out there with no expectations, and, and that's probably why why we ended up doing so well in the end. That's Liam to Evans DMs, <laughs> turned out well. We kind of went in there with no sort of pressure on ourselves. Uh, I was playing really good doubles uh, coming up to Wimbledon, as Evan was as well. Um, and that kind of gave confidence to you know play well together and we were really just enjoying each moment out there. And the more we were winning, the more confidence we got. And yeah, I think we just had a good you know, chemistry on court and yeah, it, it, it paid off quite well. I certainly think that Wimbledon every year brings the buzz to any tennis fan, whether you're whether you're playing the event or whether you're not playing the event, because I think you know it's a time of the year that everyone looks forward to. It's our home grand slam. Had I gone into it this year, I would have learned a lot of lessons from last year. I mean, last year was a massive buzz, and and it was almost quite hard for me to switch off having had that success. You know, you're checking social media, the news, all that sort of stuff. And I was having long days at Wimbledon, and so it's definitely going to be uh, a miss this year. I think there's such a like great atmosphere around uh, Wimbledon time, even before that, the whole grass season. As, an, as a tennis player, it's such a, a nice time in the tennis calendar. Also for people who aren't really tennis fans for the rest of the year, but for Wimbledon, I feel, I feel like everyone just sort of comes together and there's such a good buzz around Wimbledon. Hopefully, you know, next year will be one of the, one of the best Wimbledons uh, that there's been because, you know, everyone's missed it so much this year. I'd love to play mixed doubles with uh, someone like Arthur Ashe. I mean, I think he, I think he's the only black man to ever win Wimbledon, so that would be pretty historic. I know he's always great on grass for one Wimbledon, so that would be pretty cool. Against, I'm not sure. Maybe someone like Serena, because she's just my idol, and yeah, I've always been, you know, someone I've looked up to since I was little, and always wanted to play against. So. Play against, uh, play against her at Wimbledon would be pretty cool. For me, on the single score, I'd love to um, to play Rog at, at Wimby, just because of the you know success there of the years. And then looking back at last year, it would have been really cool for Eden and I to have played uh, Andy and Serena when they teamed up. That would have been a really cool. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure we'd have had a, a good chance at taking them out. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> sure. Not sure Andy would agree, but.